Right, we've imported our reference model, so now we're just gonna have a little go at making a chest sample. Okay, once you've made the model and you've uh, UV mapped it and you've created the textures for the UV maps, you can't just assign materials and export those. You have to create UV maps and create custom textures for the model. Then you import them into the software like 3DS, Blender or Maya, which I'm using now, and assign the materials to the textures. They have to be Targa, T-A-G-A files. They can't be PNG or JPEG files. They have to be Targa, otherwise the model won't read properly. Here's an idea of what the model might look like in Gmod once the reflectivity has been added. Just so you know, all the shading that you set up in Maya, 3DS or Blender won't carry over to Gmod. In Garry's Mod, there are certain files, the material folders that hold the texture maps and the normal maps and stuff like that, and the specular maps. Uh, they have to be done in separate files, which have to be coded and set up in VTF Edit, which we'll move over to in a second. This part can be a little bit complicated. Um, I'm not sure what the system is in 3ds Max for exporting uh, SMD files for Garry's Mod. Uh, or source in general uh, but in Blender it's pretty simple you just export to SMD using the uh, add-on script uh, but in Maya uh, you have to use the Mesa script make sure you hit add VTF attributes once that's done you go to the layer editor and add the two um, the two layers uh, physics and reference uh, right now we don't need a physics model and that seems to be a little bit buggy so I just build a reference model assign the model I want to be ex exported as the main model as reference and then export it to the folder I want to compile in. Just in case you don't know how to assign a model to the reference group right click it in the attribute editor at the bottom right click members and then just select the models you want to be assigned to reference. Right, next we're going to set up a little folder where we can compile everything, put everything together. First of all, we need to put in a, a, the SMD files we exported. We should have two. We should have the model S, uh, SMD and we should have the idle SMD, which holds the idle animation for the model itself. Uh, next, we need to set up a QC file that will allow uh, uh, us to use Crowbar or GMUID compiler, I think it's called, I can't remember, but I usually use Crowbar. And um, we need to code the uh, QC file uh, to compile the model itself. Uh, just in case you need any help with the QC file, you can have a look on the um, the development website for the uh, wiki on source. And Q, just type in in Google uh, QC commands, Gmod, etc., and it will give you all the commands. But I will put an example or a few examples in the description of the video for you. What I'm doing right now is just, I've used a old folder that I did a recent model in for, uh, for the Steam Workshop. I've just copied the folder, renamed it, and I'm just deleting all of the uh, original files from that other that previous model. And I'm renaming everything uh, according to this new model, what I want the paths to be, and, and so on. Right, here is the QC file. First of all, we need the model name. Um, it's going to be compiled to the models folder automatically when you use model name uh, but I want it in the horizon folder VIP chest slash backslash it has to be backslash and then VIP chest dot MDL for the actual model that's where it's going to be compiled in my garage mod folders uh, surface prop we want default my body is going to be the chest SMD uh, that means it's going to be the main body for the model uh, surface prop is going to be combine metal it's going to be a solid prop. I need to assign the materials folder for this model. And I'm going to be using models. Uh, 
By default, when you use CD materials, it automatically assigns it to the materials folder, but inside that folder, it's going to be models, horizon, VIP chest. The next part is sequence. We're going to use the idle animation, and that's going to be chest underscore idle SMD for the uh, idle animation for the model. Then collision model is going to be chest SMD. I'm not going to make a uh, a simple physics model for this, as the exporter seems to bug out whenever I do that. Right now, assuming you've already set up Crowbar. Uh, and selected your QC file and selected where the model is going to be exported and you've run the compilation of your QC file and there's been no errors and everything's gone through just a little bit of advice if you see a lot of the compile log uh, with zero bytes that means the model is empty and you need to re-export uh, re it from the, um, from the 3D software that you're using right, now the model is compiled everything looks good We've opened it in Half-Life Model Viewer, which can be found in the uh, Gary's Mod bin folder. Um, as you can see, it's a checker pattern, so what we're going to do next is set up the materials in the Gary's Mod Materials folder. Now using VTF Edit, we're going to create the VMT and VTF material files, which are going to be the textures and the shading material files for the, uh, the model itself. Um, you may notice that these are PNG files and you can use them when creating the materials themselves. You just can't assign um, JPEG or PNG or bitmap files when you're exporting the model itself. They have to be TGA or target files, otherwise the model will not show correctly. Or, like the problem I ran into, your Half-Life model viewer will just say error loading model or Gary's mod will not load the model at all. So it has to be target files, okay? So what we're going to do in VTF Edit is we're just going to click the little blank page, which means new. You're going to import each file and then create a VMT and VTF file. Uh, you click save to click the VMT and it should automatically create a VTF file along with that. VTF files are the material, the texture themselves, and the VMT are the code, which are going to tell the uh, the materials how to behave. Uh, I'll just skip through this while I create the files and then we'll carry on from there. Here's an issue you might run into just to give you a little bit of information when making materials there are types like vertex, uh, lit generic and some others, uh, light map generic unlit generic and they're all for different types of materials different types of behaviors when when interacting with light uh, for models and props and stuff like that you want shading on the people are going to spawn into the game then you want to use vertex slick generic now on top of this what we've actually done we've created vmt files or material behavior files for the light maps as well and we need to remove those extra vmt so we're going to conquer both uh, problems and i'll show you the results afterwards Right here, we're just going to select all of the normal maps and stuff. We're going to remove their VMT behavioral files. Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to go through all of the VMT files and make sure they're set up correctly. We're going to be adding the normal maps and the, the grayscale maps for lighting and detail and stuff like that. Um, and then overwrite the original VMT files. Uh, just in case this needs to be explained a little bit better but the VMT is basically the controller for the material it tells the material what is the base texture what is the light map what is the bump map and so on and we have to put those lines of code into the file you don't have to do it manually you can do it through creating the VMT itself which I'll show you here Right, what I've done here is I've added an environmental map uh, which causes reflections on the model. Uh, the, the tint allows you to control how much tint the model itself has. Right now for the base material in the VMT file, we're going to start assigning our textures, our normal map, our base texture and our bump map. 
this will give the model a little bit more grain and it's, uh, it will change the way light reflects off of the, off of the base texture. It can take a little bit of uh, trial and error to get the model looking exactly how you want, so just keep practicing. Okay, the model looks done. Uh, it's not quite as gold as I would have liked, but um, that's down to the texturing. It's a little bit too of a dark material, but it needs a bit, a bit, more, a bit more grain to it. Let's have a look in game, see what it looks like. It looks more yellow than cold. Yeah, it definitely needs more of a darker material. Um, but as you can see, that's the result. And here's a little bit of a dark view. Um, I did add a glowing effect to the screens, uh, the little um, squares at the bottom underneath the lid to give it a bit of an effect. Um, that model won't be on the workshop, it was just an example for the tutorial, but I hope you enjoyed it.